a new film telling the true but largely unknown story of an unsung heroine of the Second World War opens in cinemas this week. Another Mother's Son stars Ronan Keating and Jenny Seagrove alongside London-based actor Julian Kostoff, who I'm pleased to say joins us live on the sofa this evening. Before we chat, let's take a quick look at the trailer. Tried to escape before, but he was caught. I've got to move him somewhere. Please. dangerous this is. I want any mother to do the same for Ralph. Why do you think I'm doing this? Bill? Bill. Together. Yes, sir. Together. You don't know anything about him. Some of them are convicted criminals. Your mother must be so kind of mother's name. Julian, we saw you there in your role as a, I think I'm right in saying a Russian prisoner of war. Tell us a bit Indeed, about yes. it. Indeed, uh, yes. It's a very interesting story I knew nothing about. And many of my, uh, mostly everyone who worked on the film did not know that there was a, a British territory occupied by the Nazis in the Second World War. And it came as a shock to hear that they brought 20,000 mostly Russian uh, prisoners of war and just people they kidnapped off the streets, kids, and, and brought them to Jersey to work in the quarry to build a defense wall against the Allies. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, talk about evil genius, but one of my, uh, my character, uh, Fyodor, is actually one of these uh, prisoners and it's uh, all based on a true story he's a historical um, per figure and he escapes uh, he's caught then he escapes again and is sheltered by um, Louisa Gould who is um, just such a remarkable woman and person and I, I believe that this movie is so beautiful for the for the fact that an ordinary person does something extraordinary and any one of us could could be in the situation like that and I hope everybody does what she does. It's an incredible story, an absolutely yeah. inspirational one. As you mentioned, a true story. How much yeah. research did you have to do for this role? I this, the, first of all the script is written by Jenny Lacote, who is the great grandniece of Louisa Gould, which is you c couldn't get a better source than that. And um, the script was wonderful and I also did as much research on the period that I could do and uh, especially in the context of Jersey um, and what I did was I, I googled Russian websites and like Google Russia and then I, I, I used Google Translate to sort of find out about my character because he passed away in 2001 and that was probably all the prep that I did and then I just put it to bed and just focused on just doing our thing with Jenny this is your first lead role in a film. Yeah. We have seen you in a number of other things before, but clearly yeah. a huge for, get for personal. you. Yeah. <laughs> and how did it feel to be starring alongside? I mentioned some of the names there, and as you've mentioned, yeah. Ronan Keating, uh, Jenny oh, Seagrove, a whole load of yeah. people. All of them are amazing. It was, most of them are British heavyweight actors, been around for ages, and, and I've also I've been a fan of uh, John Hanna, for a long time and also Ronan as a singer as he, his song is um, when you say nothing at all is one of my favorite songs of all time and when I when I knew when I heard that he's going to be uh, playing Harold I was like oh my god oh my god did you find act out cool, when you act met cool. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then we had to do a singing session the next day with Ronan and I was like I'm going to nail this and actually one of the coolest moments of uh, for me when I watched the the film at the premiere the other day was when the credits rolled down and it said a song performed by Julian Kostov and Ronan Keating. So I'm like, yeah, man, you're featured. <laughs> Real singer here. A career in pop music to come. Yeah, to come. I've read that before acting, you had quite a different career path. Um, an ex-professional swimmer, I, I understand. I am. I used to swim, yes. Uh, How do you go from that to acting to singing with Ronan Keating? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's more like uh, swimming was, you know, I started swimming when I was 10. And then I got good at it, and then I just continued because I had to, sort of. Um, and I stopped when I was 20, 21. I was part of the national team in Bulgaria. And, uh, and I started studying business management, actually, in Holland. And I felt depressed, and I decided to move to London to, to try out acting. And I did graduate business management, but at some point, I shouldn't say this, but I burned my diploma as sort of a metaphor to, I need to start over and do what I love. And, and, and my mom said, do something that 
you love to do because work is 80% of your conscious day. And unless you're happy with your work, you're not going to be happy with your family, with your friends. So I followed that advice and that's how I got into acting. I just took a leap of faith. You hear people say that you have to have something to fall back on if your acting yeah. career doesn't work. So you've burnt your diploma. I did. A career as an ex-professional uh, <laughs> swimmer I don't think is one that you can go back no, to in later really. life. But things are going very well for you by the sounds yeah. of it. What is next for you? I produced a film last year, so the business diploma did come in handy, even though I don't have it anymore. Um, so producing and uh, I'm doing some other projects that I can't really talk about right now.